Yeah, what's up, y'all? We on deck today. Um, cut the deck podcast. What's up? Um, we got Kareem Grimes coming in here. Um, a lot, a lot of y'all know him as Preach on All American. Um, but I'm finding out, yo, he had a body of work since 1991. Like he's one of the breakout stars on the um hit series All American. But he's been Boys in the Hood, Baby Boy, like. I can't even believe this. Like I'm reading, and then we we gonna chop it up. And you gonna say you see we gonna be finna chop it up, but um, this is wild right now, man. Like he's literally, he like he literally has a has a body of work that I didn't even know of. Oh wait, okay, he better. I'm about to get you in, K. All right, there we go. This is this is wild. I had no idea he'll even respond. Ah. Yo, the fact that you responded is crazy, bro. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. I've just been chilling, bro. Yo, welcome to Cut the Dick Podcast. Kareem, I'm your host, Isaiah. How you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm good, brother Isaiah. Yo, bro, I've been, um, I didn't know you had such a deep body of work. Yeah, a lot of, uh, it's it's interesting a lot of people, I mean, it's just how it is, man. I guess, you know, people are really, um, you know, recognizing me from all American, which is great. It's right. a blessing. But, um, you know, I, I, you know, I've been, I've been in the business since 1988. Yeah. I so, just see you, you had, know. you had, um, 1991, you played in Boys in the Hood, right? Yeah. 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 What role did you play? Was it like a small, like real? Yeah. Yeah. It was just a ice cream truck kid, you know? Oh, man. I was the that was the that was the start. Uh, I was actually I was actually just doing extra work. Um, right. At that time, uh, my mom's friend was in the business, and she was like, "Hey, they're looking for a young black man who skateboard." And at that time, I was heavy in the skateboard, and right. I get on set, and you know, a week or two in the shooting, and boom, John is like, "Yo, I'm gonna give you some lines," and voila, you know. Wow. So that was really that was really the start of. Uh, my career, man, and you know, from that from that point on, man, we just been going ever since, nonstop. Right. No so, but no you you were in Boys in the Hood. I don't think you understand. Like, how, <laughs> how does how does it feel to be a part of something like that, though? Like, what does that do? To uh, you? it's it's dope, man. I think you know a, a blessing for it to be my first film, mm -hmm. and it be such an iconic film that kind of really changed, um, film. You know, and so, really gave a glimpse into, uh, you know, black people, African American, um, you know, how we live, what's been going on in South Central, right. um, and I think it kind of related to every neighborhood in in the United States. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was just a blessing, bro. And I also didn't know you played, but you play uh, Do Dirty and Baby Boy. Yeah, 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 absolutely, and. Uh, you know, I, I just finished college, man, and um, ran into John, and John was like, yo, uh, meet me at the office. I'm doing a movie called Baby Boy, and, you know, I want I want you to see, you know, what it what it uh, looks like to make a film. And, you know, I started off as his assistant. You know, I didn't, you know, of course I wanted to be in the movie, yeah. but, you know, the opportunity of just finishing college and being able to work under John, you know, that was that was enough for me, and, you know, like like everything, he was just like, "Yo, you you gonna play this role named, you know, gonna play this character named Do Dirty." So, uh, you know, so I was assisting, learning behind the scenes as well as you know acting. So it was right. a, it was a blessing. Yeah, I was saying people don't really know the groundwork. I think people think you just go to audition and you just get it. It's like even in this media thing, it's kind of harder than I thought. It's really body of work, body of work. Yep. You might get opportunity. You might get to do some stuff unpaid. And so mm -hmm. yeah, so um. And so now you've transitioned to one of the hottest shows, but it's the hottest show out here. And what's yeah, great, bro, yeah. I was with my ex when she was like, you ever seen a show called All American? I thought it was a cringy football show. Because I played right, right. football my first two years. And okay. she put it on. And so now when I watch it, I'm like, ah, I don't want to think about, you know what I'm saying? Because she was the one that put yeah. me on. So I'm like, yeah, Damn, yeah. I, I love the show, man. But um, how hard is it to separate you, Kareem, from Preach? Everybody knows you as Preach. Um, I think, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not a lot. I think, uh, there's a, there's a little bit of me in preach, really? um, you know, being born and raised in Inglewood, California, 
Oh. You know, growing up in South Central, sure. growing up in the Crenshaw District. Sure. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm really from here. No wonder you, because you seem like you embody the yeah, like the gang culture. I'm like he, you just see him. Like he could, he really, from, he's really from Crenshaw. I, yeah. I didn't know you were really from Crenshaw, but the way you played yeah. the show. Yeah, I mean, I, I was raised in that area. Um, you know, uh, grew up in the, grew up around gangs. Didn't join a gang. Um. But, you know, I'm very familiar with that culture. Um, so for me, it was easy to tap in and, uh, you know, bring a little bit of me um, in, in, into this character. Really? Yeah. Definitely. So now, what's it like? Are y'all still shooting right now? Yeah. Yeah, we're shooting. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually back at work on Tuesday. Really? So uh, and then Monday, you know, episode. So um, I'm back on Monday. So you guys see Preach on Monday. And uh, yeah, we still shoot, man. We still moving and grooving. So yeah. So like, what's it like being on set with the um Daniel? Because I was just watching you did an um Instagram live with Daniel some months ago. Not Daniel, mm -hmm. Michael. Mm -hmm. You did one with uh -huh. Michael, mm -hmm. and I, I saw your personality. I was like, he's nothing like Preach. Like, he's yeah. Nothing like, he's nothing like the tough dude on TV. He's yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, I don't take myself too serious, man. I think at the end of the day, you know, uh, for me, I just go through life, man, just with a positive attitude. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, you know, I don't have a story of I grew up rough and from the mud and the, you know what I mean? Like I had a mom and dad, they separated. It was just me and my mom that my sister was born, you know, but my mom kept me busy in sports and acting. So I really didn't have, I really didn't have the time to go in the streets, right. you know what I'm saying? And then I had family, which is the village who were, you know, who were raising me while my mom was at work. So I never really had that that idle time to be out in the streets looking, you know what I mean? Because I was always busy doing something, sports or, you know, acting class or dance class. So, you know, I don't, you know, I don't have those stories. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm appreciative for everything, man. And it's just grateful uh, for the life experiences that I've had, which, you know, have shaped me to the man that I am today and, you know, I just try to, you know, take those 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 gems that have been given to me and, you know, spread those to, you know, my, my, my young brothers and sisters, man. So talk about that sacrifice. Like, that, like what did you did you feel like? Yeah, you man, it was it was a lot, bro. I think, uh, you know, uh, I, for, for me, I, I had a pretty normal life, childhood. Um, it was just busy, man. I think for me, I never stopped. That's the thing, Isaiah, like. When I tell you I started in 88, a little bit further, doing extra work, I have not stopped. Like, I've never taken a break whatsoever. Wow. A part of the reason why I went to school out here is because I wanted to still act. Like, I, I had got accepted to Tuskegee, and I was going to go. And um, I was like, nah, I want to stay here so I can still pursue my, my, my uh, career in acting. So, you know, I, I went to Cal State L.A., working, you know, working. And, you know, taking credits, I mean, taking, you know, 12, 12 units and acting, you know what I'm saying? Auditioning, booking work, having to leave, but, you know, still be in contact with my professors to get papers in and things like that. So, like, when I say I've never had a break, I've never had a break, break at all, because for me, it was my passion. It was my love. So, yeah, the sacrifices of, you know, not really being able to hang out as much, not being able to party, um, but for me, you know, I wouldn't give, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look back and, and, um, and have any regret. Everything that I've done up to this point um, has gotten me to this point. Right. And that's just being consistent, believing in myself and never giving up, man. So, um, you know, the sacrifices were there and, you know, my mom made a lot of sacrifices. So, you know, for me, it's just only right that, you know, I continue to do what I do to make her proud. Definitely. So you don't have not one ounce of man. I wish I would have relaxed a little bit in college and kind of went to that. No, nope. no, nope. I went super hard, bro. And people were like, well, how do you do that? And I was just like, when you love what you do is never is when you find your passion and you love what you do is never work. Right. So I never considered it as a job. It was something that I love to do. You know what I'm saying? The auditions and getting the sides and, and studying and breaking it down and preparing. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those things I love and I still love to this day. 
Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, for me, it was just the energy, young, hungry, you know what I'm saying? And just going after it, you know, going after it, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Because as me as a college kid, I kind of, I, I, I question myself, like, damn, like, I'm doing interviews, I'm doing, like, on a smaller scale, like, you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, I, I sometimes question, like, so I'm not going to this function, I miss out on the football game. And so yeah. I, I was, I just wanted your advice. So I battle that sometimes, you know? I'm yeah, talking. I think, I think, like I said, you, if this is what you want to do and it's fun, mm -hmm. when it no longer becomes fun, then that's when you need to take a step back and be like, ah, I don't know if I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? But if you're having fun doing this, mm -hmm. be consistent with it, put in the work, um, study the craft, uh, and, you know, just go for it, man. And the, the the more you the more you deposit into it, the greater the return is going to be. Right. And so and so everybody said never give up on your dreams. Like you're living never. proof. Like I just it seems it's, it sounds pretty cliche though. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it, it does. It's 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 a lot of cliches of never give up. Uh, nothing is overnight, which it isn't. You know, we talk about eighty eight. Eighty eight. I've been doing this, and probably within the last three years. Within the last three years, 2018, 19, 20, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface career-wise. Yeah, that's 30-something years, dude. Right. Career-wise, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. Yeah, you were, I'm, I was reading this um, article called uh, your Conversation with Somebody. It's a conversation with Kareem Grimes. Um, yeah, from Boys to Preach. I would just – I'm reading yeah. this up right now. That's mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reading it like, yeah, like you're a breakout star now, and so – like that delayed gratification definitely had to be like a thing you had to kind of kind of just take to the chest. Like, I ain't gonna yeah, get I mean, you know, you you always celebrate the small victories. You know what I mean? You 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 celebrate the small victories because those lead up to the big ones, and then you appreciate the big ones when right. you get it. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so for me, it's just about you know celebrating the small victories, man. It just like I said, being consistent, like literally being consistent with what you want you know i'm like i said i've never taken a break through that i've done tv shows i've done projects i've produced i've directed you know what i mean i was always constantly feeding and depositing into my career mm -hmm. each and every day whether it's working out whether it's reading whether it's you know what i'm saying something always going towards my career going towards the goal going towards you know what i'm saying right. the, the the, the the victory so right so um so, so so what do you feel like oh i always wanted to ask you this mm -hmm. I, I guess somebody of uh like celebrity status like mm -hmm. what's that shift like when like i guess like the big things start to come what's that shift like in your personal life whether it be friends family because i know like you um, you put in the groundwork for a long time but what was that yeah. role where everybody was like okay you finna be something so let's go to you you know what, man? I think I've just had people speak into my life, man. Um, I've had a lot of people believe in me. Um, so for me, it was just, you know, really taking heed and listening. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, when somebody speaks into your life in a positive way, you listen. You know what I mean? And uh, they don't have to. They don't have to do or say anything. Right. You know, but when you, when, they, when you do get that, man, it's just that extra push. It's that extra fuel. Um and you know that's I, for me, man. It's just like I said, dude. I've uh, I've just always believed in myself first, first and foremost. Um, and uh, yeah, man. Yeah, like you know, I I wouldn't trade anything. I wouldn't trade anything whatsoever, dude. You see that piece, like damn, like I yeah. really act for a living. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I still hustle. Like I just finished the job yesterday where i was more behind the scenes doing you know production work talent wrangling you know what i'm saying um and i think once you remove the ego you you you'll be surprised what you can accomplish and what you can do you know um it was interesting because people afterwards i had to go get my check and they was like oh my god you look familiar yeah oh my god you're on the tv show i could i didn't recognize you because you had your mask on i'm just like yeah when i'm here i'm working you know what I'm saying? I'm just Kareem Grimes doing production work, helping out, playing my part. Right. Um, you know, and uh, but, you know, I think, uh, like I said, you just the ego, man. Once you remove that ego, um, 
you you you'll be surprised what you can accomplish. Well, you don't feel like people change much, no? As, as the uh, fans. no. I mean, you do get the you. Do, I mean, now, yeah. Awesome, Where yeah. I go, it's like, hey, aren't you preach? Aren't you? You know what I'm saying? And that's cool. That's yeah. That's a part of the game. That's a part of it. If you yeah. don't want it, then don't be in this industry because that comes with it. Yeah. You know, and I think it's just how you handle it. Um, I think now it's just you get more facial, re- you get more recognition because of the show. Mm-hmm. But um, for me, it's just I just you, you just have to move different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just have to move different. I think, you know, we're in a day and age where, you know, social media Mm-hmm. People can misconstrue things or be like, oh, he did this or he did that. So it's just about moving different, man. Um, if you know me, you can look through my Instagram from when I got on here, man. I don't post nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wild. You know what I'm saying? It's either been my journey as, you know, as a working actor, you know, as an uncle, you know, um, son, friend, relationships, um, working out, you know what I mean, traveling. So that's pretty much been my whole MO. That's been my whole Instagram. So, you know, there's nothing on there you can go back and be like, oh, Kareem was wild back in the day. There's nothing on there. Because I know what social media is, and I know how it can be a tool and how it can help, um, and I don't take it for granted. Relationships, I got to ask, how do you know when it's genuine? Like companionship with a significant other, how do you know? Yeah, I think just, you know, um, I think it's something of just, there's a feeling and there is, um, you know, when somebody truly and genuinely cares and loves you and is not caught up in the stuff and in the fluff. And when I mean fluff, the business yeah. of you being famous or a recognizable face to where they still be like, yo, you still Kareem, you still Isaiah to yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? And it's never like <sighs> the star struck or whatever. So I think that's when you know, you know what I mean? When somebody genuinely loves you and 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 down for you. And you'll you'll know it. You'll know it. You know what I'm saying? You'll you'll recognize the felonious attitude or the felonious things that go on and you'll you'll recognize it and check it. You know, but for the most part, man, you know, people who who genuinely are down for you, love you, you you you'll you'll know. Definitely. What advice would you give to me? Like I'm doing media, so I, and try, I'm trying. I get the media, entertainment. I guess those two worlds. You're not trying. Time. You're doing. So take out the try. You actually are doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just steps and levels to it. So the more you do it, the more you learn. Be a sponge. Never. You know. I've been doing. Like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I take criticism. I take information. I don't profess or claim to know everything you know I'm still a student of the game you know what I'm saying so uh, my advice to you man is just continue to be a student of the game I went to I went to college and studied broadcast journalism film radio and television I wanted to be a sportscaster because I love Stuart Scott you know God rest his soul he was he was the reason why I you know picked that major you know what I mean? And uh, I would look at ESPN every night just That's to see him and study him. So, you know, study those, study the greats, study those who you admire, you know, and, you know, start taking bits and pieces of what they do and incorporate, incorporating into what you do. And that's how you become. It's just like Kobe, you know, Kobe studied Jordan and he incorporated some of Jordan's Jordan S stuff in his game, but it was still Kobe, you know. So my advice to you is man, study the greats, continue to, you know, learn the game, learn as much as you can, uh, in front of the camera and behind. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, believe in yourself, uh, and uh be consistent. That's it. Right. When you yeah. get that opportunity, take full advantage of it. Yeah, because you might not get it. I don't want to be mm-hmm. stuck here. Yeah, you you've been taking advantage since '88. Obviously, I mean, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> '88. All right, yeah. Just to wrap it up, I guess let's get to the fun questions. Um, yeah. I, season three's out. What can we expect? What what's because last time I checked, when I was watching All American, I'm like, it's always something. I'm like, like, like 
It's why is it always something? Like, well, go your ass home. Leave Crenshaw. Yes. Stay, in, stay in the hills, bro. I mean, damn. Like, you just want to go back to Crenshaw? But that's so, life, though. That's 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 life. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Crenshaw, right. having to go to a school that's outside, making new friends. Yeah. It's different. You know what I'm saying? My 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 story is almost the same. I went I went and got bust. So I went to Paul Revere, which is in Brentwood, <clears throat> on the west side of town. Rich, richy neighborhood. Then I went to Palisades, which is right down the street from the ocean. Like literally at lunchtime, I could walk down the hill, hang out, oh my God. stick my feet in the sand, and then walk back up to school. But then, you know, I transferred to Dorsey which is right in the inner city, right over there by the jungles where they shoot training day, right down the street from Baldwin Hills. So my life was the opposite, but I still had friends that went to Palisades and I still was able to, you know, holler at them, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just life, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it has its ebb and flow. So like, and then we got to keep you me. entertained. We got to keep yeah. you entertained. And and y'all and y'all do because I think the last thing I watched I think Spencer he shot I think, remember he got shot and then his his yeah. arm was doing something at the mm -hmm. end so I didn't see season three I'm waiting for it to get on Netflix you know what I'm saying oh so, man no you gotta watch it now man you can watch it now every Monday eight o'clock on the CW if you don't if you miss it you can download the app which is free and you can stream it the next day you know really? what I'm saying so yeah so it gives you something to talk about look forward to you know what I mean so. Right. We're not gonna be on Netflix for a while, so what? we might as well we might as well get up on it now because we're still shooting season three and we're still airing season three. So our first priority is the CW. So oh, until the last man. episode on CW, then you got about a couple of weeks before it hits Netflix. So oh man, that's the only one, bro. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So tap in every Monday, eight o'clock. If you don't, if you miss it. Download the app for free and then stream it the next day. Oh, word. So, so can, can I go on the CW app and get episode one, two, three, yep. four? And just kind of absolutely. Yep. You can oh. you can catch up now and up until uh, because episode eight is uh, Monday. Yep. So you got seven episodes you can stream. Bet I'm going crazy. I'm gonna watch it. But um, there it is. So so what happened? So I, so far, what has happened? Because I'm lost. I don't know. Did um, coach go back to Crenshaw? I'm lost. If you could yep. give me what you can. Yep. You know, so they're back at Crenshaw. Spencer has been dealing with uh, PTSD um, mm -hmm. From the shooting. because of the shooting. Right. Um, he's also going to therapy, which is, is a great thing, showing African-American men in therapy, which is important. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Him and Coop are kind of like on this, you know, separating uh, this whole thing about what happened in Vegas. That was last week's episode. Uh yeah, when they said Spencer and Olivia kiss, yes, I've been rooting for them yeah. to get together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For them, bro. So that was last week's episode. Um, Monique got me out of prison, so you know she's trying to she's trying to rekindle something. Monique, but, Monique, Monique, oh, Monique. Tyrone's sister. Oh, oh, she got you. Out she's of prison. in the picture. She's no, in the picture. Don't no mess with Tyrone and them. You know what happened. You know, you know, you know, you know how Tyrone get down. Don't, get, don't mess with them, bro. I mean, well, you know Tyrone's dead. So, uh, hey, yeah. That's a piece yeah. Tyrone. Man, you got to catch up, bro. You got to yeah, catch yeah, up. Yeah, so I'm far behind, without, bro. Without, without giving you too much, you got to, yeah. you know, you definitely got to catch up. Um, yeah. So, yeah, definitely stream so you can be all caught up come Monday. De definitely, bro. Um, damn. Y'all make me, Y'all make me want to act, for real. <laughs> I thought about it. Like, how 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 does one get in the industry? Oh man, study the craft. Um, I think now it's a lot easier because you guys have Instagram and YouTube mm -hmm. to where you can, you know, put on your own projects, shoot your own projects. Um, but yeah, man, you know, study study the craft. You got. You got uh, Actors Access. You got L.A. Casting, where now you can sign up, throw pictures on there, and you can start submitting yourself. So you can kind of become your own agent until you, you know, get enough credits to, to get an agent. But, um, you know, it's the craft, man. You got to study the craft. It's just not all about being in front of the camera. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot to it of being open. You got to be vulnerable as an actor. You got to be able to go to places that, you may not want to go yeah. tap into emotions that 
you know, you may not want to tap into because they affect you a certain way, you know? And I mean, you may have to shower. I act in the shower sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I have a little I act in the shower. You know what I'm saying? But, hilarious, like, hilarious. But yeah, man, it's you know, it's a lot, dude. It's a lot. It's 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 like it's like doing a podcast and reporting. When you are interviewing a person, you want to do as much research as you can on this person, so you have some interesting some interesting questions for them. You know, knowing what they do, uh, what shows and and things of that nature, so you'll so you'll know. You know, your what, where, when, why, and how, okay. you know. Um, so, you know, it's it's like with anything, man. You just got to be able to study to study the craft. I got you, bro. Um, I'm trying to start something called like it's like an All-American series. I want to get like – I'm going I'm to shoot my shot and do it anyway. I'm trying to get all y'all, Daniel. I'm trying to get Mike. I'm trying to get everybody just to kind mm-hmm. of talk some stuff. So that's, that's, part of my, that's my next latest project. So I, I started out with you. I'm going to reach mm-hmm. out to Danny. I'm going to reach out to everybody and try and get as many – but that's something I've been working on for a minute now. And so I'm glad it you is. Even, I'm so glad you even reached out. You started it for me. So Absolutely, yeah. brother. Indeed, man. Gotta start somewhere. So, you know, just keep it up, man. Keep grinding, keep believing, and uh, you know, keep improving. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Each yeah. each and every each and every interview you do, you always want to get better. So, you know, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yo, Kareem, appreciate you, bro. God bless. Absolutely, man. God bless you too, man. Have a good one. I see you. Like